In our joint by joint warm up, uh, the final combination of mobilities uh, for the upper and lower extremities is ankle and shoulder mobility. We do that with a goblet squat plus halo. So the kettlebell bottoms up. You perform your halo in each direction simply at the bottom of your goblet squat. Maybe you don't have the ankle mobility yet to get into a deep goblet squat and maintain an upright enough torso to safely halo the bell. In that case, you can perform a crouching halo. In the crouching halo, I'm going to set up with one leg folded underneath me, the foot flat. I'm going to sit towards that heel. Now my other leg, what I'm going to call my front leg now, I've got my heel back towards my back leg, only so far as I can while keeping that heel in contact with the floor. My foot on my front leg is perpendicular to my tibia on my back leg. So now I'm in this crouch position. What I've got going on now is I've got a stretch on the back side of the ankle of my front foot, and I've got a stretch on the front side of the ankle of my back foot. While I'm in this crouch, I'm going to perform my halo. Now I've got another combination of ankle and shoulder mobility going on. 